All right, next is the comparison commands you will find over here. This is to input less than comparison command. This is a less than symbol. This is less than equivalent to or this is equivalent to greater than and greater than equivalent to. So you have five comparison commands. So let's see how we can use that. Okay. So this IN1 and IN2 are two inputs which will be compared and results will be shown in the output. So you must note that result here is bitwise. It's bit result will be in bit, you know, or you can say that in bit mode. So this is address zero. This is less than okay. And the input can be numeric. It will be numeric. So I'll go to source, I'll take two numeric inputs. Connecting to the inputs like that. Okay. Now it says zero less than zero, which is not true. The output is off. If I write like that, it says zero less than forty, which is true, so output is on or 0 less than 67 output is off so if I take it above now 91 is not less than 67 that's why output is off so this shows you how you can compare the values and you can have the output on and off based on this comparison which is less than if you have less than equivalent to so let me just adjust that I can take parallel input so in case if you put equivalent to let me put it 67 output is off because 67 is not less than 67 they are equal but if you put this uh, inputs here and take another output then this will be true because this is less than equivalent to you have an addition operator equivalent to that's why it's true if you go for equivalent connecting it here copy paste this is equivalent so output is high so in this case, 67 is neither less than 25, neither less than equal to, it's uh, also not equal to. So in this case, if I connect these two inputs here, which says greater than, then yes, this will be true. Okay, like that. It is 4. So it is 2, 1, this will be 3. This is high because 67 is greater than 25. Similarly, if you want greater than or equivalent to, oh, I've created a mess here. Anyways, this is again <coughs> true because 67 is again greater than e or equivalent to 25. So if I go back to 67, in this case, you will find two outputs are high. This one, three outputs in fact. This is less than equivalent to, equivalent to, and greater than equivalent to 67. So this is the condition. So these are the comparison commands which you can use. You can compare your two inputs and you can have the results in the bit operation. In the bit mode, or you can see that. Okay, in this bitwise operation. So that was comparison functions. These are two inputs. This is the bit results. Okay, in bit results, you'll find the outputs like that. And to change the range here, you can change the range like that. You can put it 1000 as well. And here as well, you can take 1000. Okay? And you can also take floating inputs to compare the results. This will also be compatible with that. So if you want to see, let me take floating inputs, which will be. Oh, I don't think we have floating input. No, we don't have it in source. So this is how we can do that. This is all about comparison commands can be used to compare the values coming from two counters if you are using this connect IO uh, with some hardware or some application you can compare the value let's say if this is counting the number of bottles in conveyor this is counting another bottles in another conveyor <coughs> so you can relate that how many bottles it has counted the sensor and how many this has counted and you can compare the values you can display the results in your touchscreen HMI as well okay this connect IO has capability to do that all right so this is all about comparison commands.